Alrighty, so here we go. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go um, every once in a while, just uh, pop in my process of uh, how I'm going about trying to develop, um, at least from my perspective, a better version of this game. Like uh, like I said, uh, maybe kind of like up to, you know, 21st century standards or whatever. But I, I am going to say I have zero experience in game development or any of these things or the game industry. I'm not that way, uh, like delusional that way, but I'll tell you one thing, I am 100% confident um, in this. Oh yeah, I completely feel like I know what I'm doing. So um, yeah, that's that. Um, so here's the original map, and what I'm trying to do is kind of, I don't know if what you would call it, maybe go backwards or something, but I'm trying to look at what is my like what is my real estate? What do I have to work with? What what are what is my intentions as a developer? Um, and my intentions right now is to fit everything on. Uh, I think this is a standard uh, card table, about thirty four inches by thirty four inches. So everything I want everything to fit nicely on a thirty four by thirty four table. That's it. Um, and I'm just working from there. There's going to be that's where I'm starting from, in other words. And there's going to be some back and forth of, okay, that didn't work. This does work and so forth. But this is this is going to be the framework. And from there we go. Uh, as far as I know, I'm already ahead of the game in some ways because I feel like I've still got a ton of real estate. Uh, my first practice one, I'm just using, and I love the dimensions. Uh, I like the uh, the ratio three by two. Um, I'm just using three eight and a half by 11s by two eight and a half by 11s. I'm already ahead of the game as far as I'm concerned with the size of the map. As you can see, that's significantly different. I'll, I'll put up uh, whatever. That's significant. Um, and as far as I can see, I've got a ton of space still. Here, I'll get rid of the original map. Hold on. So let's say you were playing uh, the two player game. Which I would have it this way. You would have uh, I try you know try to get it arranged in some way. So uh, the German player, let's say if this is East Prussia and there's North, um, would go that way, and then you know the Russians would be over here. And then if you were doing the one player, I just have the, yet again just the way they've had they have it set up. I just have the hexes numbered and so on and so forth. But look at all the amount of real estate um, I'll, I get to use to pop in play aids. Uh, your dice um, uh, tray or whatever the heck you want to use, um, the rule book, so on and so forth. I think that's uh, that's a significant amount of space. And yet again, um, it's a good orientation, I think, for uh, two or one players. Um, yeah, for the one player, you just, yeah, I just think it's, this should work. That's it. This is my first installment or whatever. Like I said, I'm just going with the uh, 34 by 34 and I'm working from there. Okay.